Welcome back to another episode here on Cooking with Chef Kane. As you can see from the ingredients, the fact that we are in lunch cookery, you might be able to gather what we're getting ourselves into. Salad. All right, we've already done soup. Uh, we've already done pizza. The next thing I'd like to go over with you is how to make a healthy salad. So we're going to make my favorite because uh, I'm going to be the one eating it. Um, which is Cobb salad. A little background, uh, Cobb salad was invented by a guy, guy named, yes, believe it or not, Bob Cobb, um, out in Hollywood, California. And uh, the rumor is that he was just rampaging through the kitchen and um, at the Brown Derby restaurant and threw a bunch of greens together and voila, the Cobb salad was created and now it's basically like an American classic. Find on every menu imaginable. All right, so uh, things that have to go into a cob salad. All right, you already saw over here, hard-boiled eggs. I put some salt in the water, it helps you peel the eggs later on. And we're gonna set a timer once it starts boiling uh, to exactly 11 minutes, so we get perfect eggs every single time. Over here, uh, I have some Havarti, or it's basically a green goddess Gouda. Um, uh, normally you would use blue cheese, I unfortunately don't have any. I love blue cheese, but I don't have it, so I'm just going to use this. Some tomato, avocado, we're going to use spinach, so this is going to be a spinach cob salad, and of course, uh, some bacon. So bacon, egg, avocado, and tomato, always on a cob salad, um, and usually blue cheese. I'm going to be using, um, like I said already, this Gouda. Alright, then I'm going to make an, um, a vinaigrette. So really we're going to talk about emulsifiers today. Um, we're going to make a lemon thyme vinaigrette, so I have a thyme, some fresh lemon, some olive oil, and uh, honey as well I'm going to need for that, and mustard of course as our emulsifier. Alright, so we're going to talk about emulsions um, with this, and we're going to make our own vinaigrette. See you soon. Okay chefs, so we're back. Um, we're back to the stage where I got, where I wanted to get to, where we're making the vinaigrette now. Alright, so. Alexa, stop. So we are going to uh, go ahead and make a lemon thyme vinaigrette. And what I have here in my bowl is fresh squeezed lemon juice of two lemons, okay? Some salt and pepper, Dijon mustard, which is our emulsifier, and I'll explain what that means in a second. Some fresh thyme and some honey. I will put all the amounts um, in the description uh, later on. But this is all I have in here right now. The only ingredient that I have not added yet is my olive oil, okay? So everything is in here, basically my base for my vinaigrette. I'm gonna stir that all together. So it becomes almost like homogenized. Now, let's talk about uh, vinaigrettes for a second and what, what kind of emulsifier, emulsion that they are. Um, basically, a any kind of vinaigrette, you're always gonna see it separated, right? So even if you have a bottle of balsamic vinaigrette in your uh, fridge, Oftentimes, before you go to use it, you have to shake it up real good because the oil sits on the top and the vinegar sits on the bottom, right? So anytime you're making a vinaigrette, it's always going to be a temporary emulsion, all right? A more permanent emulsion or a semi-permanent emulsion would be something like mayonnaise, right? Where you emulsify oil into the egg yolk and it becomes more semi-permanent. Um, a permanent emulsion would be something like paint or ice cream where you actually need some sort of like temperature variation in order to break it. Uh, when I'm talking about breaking, I'm talking about that separation, that oil and that uh, liquid uh, separates. All right, so when we're making a vinaigrette, you uh, are making a uh, temporary emulsion. I want you to know that first of all. And the second thing I want you to know is what is going to make our oil and liquid uh, come together. So an emulsion is basically to define it is taking two ingredients that normally wouldn't come together to come together, even if it is for a temporary state. And one ingredient that always acts as emulsifier that makes those two things come together is dun, 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 Dijon mustard, 
all right? Or just mustard in general, okay? It has the properties in it that allow two ingredients that don't normally come together, come together for a temporary period of time. Now, as it sits, obviously it's gonna separate, but at least while you shake it up and you go to pour it on your dressing, they come together and you have a nice, equal, even balance, all right? So in here, talking about balance, I also added honey, a little bit of cracked pepper uh, to my uh, lemon juice uh, for that balance and some salt as well. Now, that's more flavor balance, not uh, emulsifying balance. Now I gotta emulsify my oil. I'm gonna slowly, slowly, slowly pour my oil oil in while I'm stirring. Really hard for me to do with one hand. So what I'm gonna do instead is put you back um, up top so you can watch me uh, finish the vinaigrette and the rest of the prep. Speaking of the rest of the prep, I have, so you can keep up where I'm at, bacon in the oven. Notice I have it in a sheet pan, right? Whole screen just bogged up, sorry about that. Okay, notice I have it in the oven. Um, uh, this is the best way uh, I like to make uh, bacon because if you try to do it into a pan or a skillet or something like that, obviously you can't control the heat as well and it starts popping and the grease gets all over your clothes and everything. The easiest, best way to cook bacon is to lay it out flat into a sheet pan and put it into your oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. That fat's gonna render out and the bacon's gonna crisp up and turns out perfect every single time. So bacon's in the oven, that's getting finished. I'm shocking my eggs, right? They boiled now for 11 minutes exactly. So I set a timer, all right? And that's 11 minutes, it's gonna make them cook fully. So it's a fully cooked hard boiled egg, uh, but you're not gonna have that great tinge. And I'll show you that um, around the egg yolk. I'll show you that when we get to uh, cutting into them a little bit later, okay? So the only other thing I gotta show you now is basically the plate up um, and how to cut some of this stuff up. We'll be back. 